Information has emerged that some governors of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, have allegedly reached a deal to work against the party's 2023 presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. Instead of working for Atiku, the governors reportedly reached a deal to secretly support the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, without defecting from the PDP. Nigerian News understands that the governors fingered in the development a loyalist of their River State counterpart, Neisom Wike, who has been at loggerheads with Atiku over the outcome of the party's presidential primary election and the subsequent emergence of Ifan Yokowa as the vice presidential candidate. A source quoted by Vanguard says the governors, Neisom Wike, River State, Samuel Autumn Benwe, Sheima Kinde Oyo, Okezie Ikwezu, Abia, Ifan Yogwai, Enugu, all reached the agreement during their recent meeting in London. According to the source, the governors want assurances that their preferred candidate will be allowed to win Senate and House of Representatives seats in their respective states, but Tinubu could not fully commit to the demands. Wike was said to have demanded that the APC candidate ensures if he wins the presidential election, which comes first, he will ensure he does not influence the outcome of the governorship and House of Assembly polls in Rivers, Benue, Oyo, and Abia State so that candidates in his camp and those of the other governors could maintain control of the states. He also wanted assurances that their men should be allowed to win Senate and House of Representatives seats, including the governors contesting senatorial elections. There was no headway on this demand either, since the presidential and national assembly elections would take place the same day, the source claim. Leaders of the People's Democratic Party PDP have, however, not given up and are making frantic efforts to end the internal crisis rocking the party, which has stalled its preparations for the 2023 presidential campaign and the inauguration of its campaign committee. Nigerian News reports that the main opposition party plunged into crisis in the aftermath of the nomination of its presidential candidate and running mate Atiku Abubakar and Ifan Yokowa, respectively. According to Sunday Sun, the party has scheduled crucial meetings of its National Working Committee, NWC, National Caucus, Board of Trustees, BOT, and National Executive Committee, NEC. Insiders disclose that the meetings are part of efforts by the PDP to rally its leaders and stakeholders to find a middle ground in the crisis rocking the opposition party. Nigerian News also gathered that Governor Wiki and his allies have converged in London, UK, with sources saying the trip is to enable the quartet to brainstorm on current developments in the party. As Ella reported by this news platform, a source had hinted that the reconciliation moves between Atiku and Wiki have all but broken down. The source claimed Tinubu would join Wiki and his people in London for another round of talks on how to work together for the 2023 presidential polls. The source said, unless a miracle happens, the reconciliation talks between Atiku and Wiki have irretrievably collapsed. Wiki and his team are currently in London, where they met this afternoon and have it on good authority that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asiwaju Ahmed Tinubu will be joining them to conclude talks started weeks ago. A major demand of the Wiki camp for peace to reign in PDP is said to be the resignation of Yocha Ayu as the party's national chairman and for him to be replaced by a southerner. However, Ayu insists that he would not resign but intends to see out his four-year tenure. The 2023 presidential election in Nigeria has been scheduled by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for February 25, 2023. PDP governors reportedly dump Atiku rich deal to support Tinubu. Interesting. Um, it was uh, Masari, Masari of the All Progressive Congress, who made a comment that uh, Wiki was going to work for, for APC. And he also gave a shocker that every, anyone that is hoping and waiting that uh, Wiki is going to decamp first before he will start any move, that they will just be waiting in vain. 
And the way he talked about it, it looks like what has happened before that Wiki doesn't necessarily need to um, decamp, to move away from PDP to be able to support their party. That Wiki can do it while within the PDP. Interesting. The governors have been named. I will know that all of these governors named who are allies of Naysom Wiki, they have their own reservations for Atiku Abubakar. For that of Autumn, Benue State Governor, his, his, his kind of uh, uh, reserve or his, uh, the concerns he has over the reservations he has over Atiku Abubakar was during um, the period of choosing the running mate. For Autumn, he said he doesn't have any problem with Okowa, but if Atiku already knew that he has someone in, in mind, he's made up his mind who he's going to be picking as his running mate, why waste their time? Why set up a seven-man panel committee of which Autumn was part of? Autumn said that was a total waste of their time and um, it was a uh, um, total disregard and disrespect for them that you set up a committee to choose running mates. Majority of that committee went for Neisom Wiki, but at the end of the day, he went for Efan Yokoa, stating that, and that is what he wants. If you had wanted that from the onset, you would have just said that, look at Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu didn't need to set up any committee to pick his running mates, and no one would question you. The position of a running mate is the president, the presidential candidate that has got um, that. He does that at his own jurisdiction. The way the PDP they are going right now, the division is getting stronger and stronger, getting stronger and stronger, and is mounting up, mounting up daily. The report we are getting now is that these governors listed, they are all planning to work for Bola Tinubu, and they don't necessarily have to leave the party. They don't have to decamp. They don't have to resign or go and take a card from APC. Boy, if we look at this, it's surprising these politicians, and these are the same people who say they have the interest of the country. If they have the interest of the country, they will not be acting this way because what it looks like right now is party affairs, not about the people, nothing about the people, the welfare of the people, the welfare of citizens to see how lives and properties are secured, but all about personal interests, how they will get their people in seat. You can hear their demands that uh, if Bola Tinubu is able to assure them that their people will be placed in different places, Senate and all of that, then they will be able to support him. Very, very sad. Very unfortunate. Well, guys, let's hear your own take. Leave us your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.